So here we are out on our playing fields and one of the nice evolutions that has happened oh in the past half dozen years or so is we've been able to incorporate the use of both the lower field and the upper field into our intramural schedule. The strength of the women's program is now such that we have four full teams of soccer in the fall. So on every Tuesday and Friday, simultaneously, we have a game that's being played up here on our upper field and a game that's being played on our lower field as well. In the men's league, we've incorporated Ultimate Frisbee into our intramural mix. And so on Wednesdays in the men's program, we have simultaneous games. On the lower field, we have an Ultimate Frisbee game going, and on the upper field, we have uh, uh, flag football going. And then the men's soccer games on the weekends uh, are played up here on the upper field uh, on Sunday afternoons. So one nice thing that has happened with the building of the two new dormitories, Spectre and Gilliam, if you can kind of look over here at the end of Spectre Hall, you see these windows in the end of the dormitory. Those are uh, common rooms and on, especially on that second floor and the third floor it's like having your own personal skybox with a goal uh, end view of the playing field so while the men are playing or even the women are playing soccer the men playing uh, football or um, soccer up here you have students who live in the dormitories with their own private skybox view of the playing field So. The new expanded playing fields of St. John's, we now need two fields in order to support the level of activity that we currently have. And now I want to take you down to the boathouse and show you what's going on down there. So here we are down at the boathouse and one thing that is definitely new, in, uh, recently we hired a boathouse manager and sailing coach and uh, Skip Kovacs who is the father of Lou Kovacs class of 2002, 2002 and father-in-law to Tally Scroggs class of 2001. 2001. So I'm going to turn it over to Skip here and Skip can tell you what he's up to. Okay so I'm the uh, boathouse manager and sailing coach here at the college and as boathouse manager, um, I help with the stewards, uh, showing them how to repair the sailboats and the crew boats, uh, the uh, dinghies, uh, the canoes, the kayaks, uh, work with them in terms of uh, um, replacing fittings on spars, uh, fixing sails, um, working with repairs of the, uh, both the uh, sailing boats and the crew shells. Uh, in some cases that just amounts to uh, putting some patches on or a little bit of fairing material and in other cases it involves a pretty complete re rebuild of a uh, carbon fiber shell. Uh, I've got a similar example of that high-tech work that we did over the summer and it's right around the corner so let's go take a look at that. Basically this was a gift from a neighbor um, a, a friend of Leo Pickens. It had been sitting out in the uh, backyard uh, on sawhorses and a uh, tree limb had come down and hit the, the uh, shell and broke the deck right here, broke the uh, sides of the hull almost completely through, um, very badly on the side on the uh, uh, shell. Uh, the shell is carbon fiber uh, the uh, deck is carbon fiber and foam, and uh, the uh, 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 work amounted to a complete rebuild of this area. And uh, as you can see, uh, after they were finished, it took about a month to do this repair over the summer. And uh, they fared it and sanded it and then painted it, and you can see that it's, the repair is uh, almost uh, completely unobservable. It's uh, so smooth that it looks like a brand new boat. And uh, really a great example of the uh, workmanship that uh, 
we've uh, been building up uh, amongst the stewards over the uh, uh, past several years. Um, so uh, it's a job that I'm frankly very proud of and the stewards are very proud of as well. Okay, so I'm taking Mark out to practice. I hope you had a great time on the virtual tour and I hope we'll see you on the water. Thanks.